Hey everybody, welcome back for another sublimation tutorial. Today we're going to look at the printer settings for the DTF sublimation hack. A lot of people have been getting problems with the ink smearing or getting the pizza wheels from the printer rollers. There is a way to set your printer settings so that you don't have these issues. I'll go ahead and show you the printer settings that I use when I use the DTF sublimation hack printing to get the crisp images that I do. So here we are in the Inkscape. Um, it's just the app that I do all my printing in. If you are interested, it's spelled right there. It's associated with that icon there. It's pretty simple. It's a really simple app to use. I did choose a design that is very colorful, has a lot of lines to it. That way I can show you when it's printed. It makes a really clear, clean printed image. So whether you have a Mac computer, an HP, or whatever kind of computer you're using, you'll still go into your printer settings and do your preferences, and that's where you're going to make your printer adjustments. So in Inkscape, you'll go to File, and then you'll go to Print, and you'll have a printer setting pop-up window right here. I have mine set to my sublimation printer, and I go to Preferences. From here, I normally do the tumbler sublimation mirrored and that's just what I do all my general settings on. But when you're using the DTF hack, you don't want to have it with so much saturation and you want a different paper type. Otherwise you're going to get that smeared image almost every time. So you have to make those adjustments. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that and I'm going to reopen it. And I'm just going to go to the standard, what it was set at when I opened the printer. And that's just this document fast that I have here. Your document size is just going to be whatever size your paper is. You'll go to portrait or landscape, whatever you're deciding to print in, that's up to you. I'm going to do mine in portrait just because of how my image is. And the paper type is what is actually really important for these printer settings. Um, if you have a matte paper like we normally use for our sublimation paper, it's going to lay way too much ink down because it's trying to think of how much ink needs to be laid down. The matte paper we use is a lot thicker and it absorbs more ink, so you have to lay more ink down to get a good transfer. With the DTF film though, the ink is just sitting on top of the film, and that is where the issue arises, is if too much ink is put onto that film, it's just going to smear everywhere. So the best one that I have found is the Photo Paper Glossy. It recognizes that it doesn't need as much ink laid down, so it's not going to do that. So we'll go ahead and click the Photo Paper Glossy. From here, you don't need to adjust the color you want to print in color. Two-sided printing, you don't want to do that on the DTF film. Your collate in reverse order, that doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about those. So on this part, you are all set. We will go now up over to the more options and click on to that. From here, your document size is fine. Output paper is fine. That doesn't need to be messed with. It's the color correction. If you're on automatic, you want to click on the custom and then you'll want to click on advanced. This color correction box will pop up. It automatically goes to fix photo, but we want to go to color control so we can have our own control on our colors. From here, we'll go to color mode and we'll do the Adobe RGB with the 2.2. From here, you always see the brightness, contract, saturation, and density really adjusted all over the place. But with this, the only thing that I adjust is the saturation. And even with that, normally I have it at 15. For the DTF sublimation hack, I have it from 8 to 10. Right now, I'm just going to set it at 10. And that is all I do with this printer setting for the colors. So we'll go ahead and push OK. And we should have everything into place now on that. You'll go down to additional settings 
and you want to turn your fast print off because otherwise your printer is going to be going too fast and it will smear also. So that is right here. Fast print is also called bi-directional printing. So if whatever it says, unclick that and that way your uh, print will print slowly and accurately. And then we always want to mirror the image. So that's all done there. We'll go ahead and push OK. And we'll go ahead and print. And I'll show you how it prints out on the printer. All right, so we have that image printed out here really nicely. It is on the DTF transfer film. Um, it's the Yamation DTF transfer film. It's what I use. I really do enjoy it, really like it. Um, in the description box, there's a link to the products and there's also some discount codes down there as well. So you can check that out. Um, I'll show you a close up view of what the image looks like here. You can see it's really nice, really clean, no streaks, no smudging. It just comes out really well with those printer settings. So that's what I use and I haven't had any issues with it yet. Now also the one thing I did want to point out, um, a lot of people ask if you can print white with this DTF hack. The answer is no, you cannot. So it looks like there's white printed out, but there's really not. And a lot of people are getting confused with that. To be able to print the white, you have to have a DTF printer. This is just a hack so that we can use our standard sublimation printers with the ink. So just to kind of show more clearly, so where the white is, it looks white, but it's translucent. It's really not white. Um, so that's why it still works better on light colors because the ink is still translucent because we're still using sublimation ink. So just keep that in mind, but you can see how vibrant the colors are and when it gets pressed it's even more vibrant and we can do it on 100 percent cotton i've done them on mouse pads i've done it on canvas it works really well but it also helps really well when you have the right settings with your printer that's going to make the huge difference so please try that out and go ahead and see how that works for you if you enjoyed this tutorial, if it's helped you, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting!